All right, folks, this is Scott with Game Audio Institute, and we are continuing our journey into audio scripting in Unity. And uh, let's get right into it, basically. Um, so the last time that we were here, we were looking at triggers. And uh, specifically, we're looking at different kinds of triggers. Uh, just to explain a little bit of context about triggers and why triggers are useful for games in general, is that basically they're relatively easy to use and they're very easy on the processor. There's not really much going on in terms of this situation. Uh, they're basically based on a simple physics-based logic of either like yes or no. And in this particular case, what we're doing is we're creating this, you know, idea of the trigger, which means you can kind of pass through the object, but then it kind of knows if you've passed through the object before. So... Right now, what we've shown so far is triggers that basically are going to be repeatable, right? So in other words, we walked through the, the, the basic trigger that we had. If you walk through the, the cube, then automatically that's going to play the sound, you know. And there was the one that we walked where was the momentary one where if you walk into the area, then it turns on. And if you walk out of the area, it turns off, essentially. So, you know, those are two methods to do things. And those are repeatable methods. But one of the things that is very common in games is many times if you walk into a trigger or you make something happen, you only want it to happen one time. Um, and there's a couple of ways that you can do that. You could certainly do it by means of... Um, something like a, uh, you know, like a, like a pickup basically, right? So like you, you can walk through the object, you know, and, and basically it disappears. And so that's fine. It's just that you'll never ever be able to go back there again because the object has disappeared essentially. So the idea it's, is that maybe you want to have a different way of doing things. And I want to show you kind of how we can accomplish that using a type of variable called a Boolean. So a Boolean is basically essentially a simple switch, right? It's basically a switch that basically says yes or no, true or false, zero or one. Binary, it's binary basically. It's gonna be good for making happen so something happen only one time. It's also good for filtering repeated values. So for example, if you get uh, the same value over and over again, rather than sending that value over and over again, you can just say, don't send any values until you get a change or something like that. And of course you can also reset the, uh, the, the Boolean to whatever you want in order to be re-triggering it if you needed to re-trigger it or something like that. So, you know, these are basically options. So now, essentially, when we talk about the trigger situation and how it works, basically the idea is we create what's called like an if statement. And we say, if some condition is met, then we're gonna do some stuff, right? And then we'll play that sound. So in this particular case, we were like on trigger enter, which is kind of a Boolean, believe it or not. It is a Boolean that says, okay, are you in the, are you in the trigger or are you not in the trigger? Um, but we can also create additional queries or additional checks, if you will, uh, for this situation in order to be able to, you know, verify if other things or other conditions are being met. So how do we use that with a, a Boolean? Well, it's very simple, actually. You can basically have a Boolean that says, have you entered the trigger before? And you're going to set this, let's say, with a false value, okay? But then what happens, so what happens is that, you know, you, you say, okay, if the trigger has been entered, that's fine. It's on trigger enter like we covered before. Then you have another check to say, is it, is played one false? Okay, this is just a variable that we're calling played one time is false. And then at that case, it'll play the sound effect. But then what happens is that right after that, you tell it, you switch that Boolean to true. Then the next time you run through this, is the trigger entered? Yep, we entered the trigger, no problem. Is played one time false? No, it's now true. Guess what happens? Nothing. And that gets us our one time trigger. So let's see what that looks like inside Unity. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to uh, our cube object over here and we're gonna just duplicate that. That's Command D or Control D if you've got a PC. Um, so basically you do that and now we have that thing here and we have our, our cube, our, our trigger on there, the trigger sound. We wanna remove that so we can just go here and 
choose remove component. You don't see it on the map, but it's there. Uh, so we're going to remove that component. Uh, this this is a menu that you can do various things with scripts and stuff. We're going to keep our audio source because we want that, of course. And we're going to add a component. And that component is going to be new script. We're going to call this one one time trigger. That's it. Going to go create an ad. Now, if we go and switch to our uh, scripting situation, okay, we'll have our different things that we have here. And we're going to double click that so that we get it actually there. There we go. And it's going to give us the start and update as, as per usual. What we want to do is we want to copy all the information here from trigger sound uh, pretty much after that, uh, that class declaration. So basically right here, totally fine. Grab all of this stuff, copy that. It's always good to start from the basis of some, some other code you already have. It makes it much easier than starting from scratch every single time. So you could go like that. And now you got those things here. And what you're gonna do is you are going to basically create another variable. And this variable will be another public variable. It doesn't have to be public, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna call it public bool because that's how you call it in C sharp. It's called a bool. It's a Boolean true or false statement. So you're gonna say Boolean and say, say, um, let's see. Um, played one X. I mean, have you played one time? Equals false. And you can set the state if you want to, or you could set it later on if you needed to do that. But in this case, we, we ideally wanna have it, have it you know, automatically initialized and, and, and set. So now what we have to do is inside on trigger enter, which is again, as I said, a Boolean, believe it or not, it actually is, it's, it's a Boolean variable. It says, okay, are you false or are you true, essentially. And the idea in this case is it'll be true if it's, on, if it's inside these, uh, these brackets effectively. So the thing is that then the next thing we wanna go is we wanna say if played one X, now you could be very, very specific with this. And you could certainly say if played one X is equal to false. And by the way, inside C sharp, you have to do the double equals because otherwise equals is more like assigning a value really. If played one X equals false, now we're gonna actually have to give more than one thing happening. So we have to put the, uh, it's also just a good practice, but we're gonna put the, the curly brackets in there. And uh, what we'll do is we'll put that here and we'll say, okay, if you are false, play that sound. Now, if that happens, now in order to make this be, uh, you know, locked out so that we can't get it to play one more time, then we'll say play one X equals, and that's where you can assign it the value. That's where equals comes in, the single equals. True. So now this will only happen one time, okay? And we'll apply all the things and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. Okay. Here we go. We wait for the thing happening. It should have the audio source, which of course is gonna be on cube one. So cube one will be here. Our sound will be some sound. It doesn't really matter what. We can do anything we want. Make a wood block sound, you know, like that. Doesn't really matter. Just pick any sound you want, it'll work. And now what we're gonna do is give it a try. So, first of all though, we do wanna probably wanna move it because it was actually duplicating an object that was physically in the space. So we're just gonna go here and we're going to move it over. And this is gonna be the one that will only trigger one time, and this one will be able to trigger a bunch of times. Okay, so let's give that a try. So here's our character, and here's our first guy we're gonna walk through. Okay, come on, got it press in the middle there. And that repeats a bunch of times, right? Now if we go over here, and it only happened one time. Okay, so let's go back to the script here 
And I'll explain a little bit about some things here that you can do that are sort of shortcuts just to let you know how things work. So for example, if you're looking for a way of shortcutting the words uh, play 1x is equal to false, right? In other words, if play 1x is equal to false, you can also say this. You can also just wipe out the entire state here and simply put a exclamation point in front of any variable that you want. Or if you don't have the exclamation point, by the way, this automatically means true, effectively, okay? And if you do this, that's gonna make it the opposite of true, which in a Boolean has to be false at that point. All right, so that's basically what covering the uh, how to do the Boolean thing in order to get the one-time trigger. Stay tuned, we'll be doing more of these in the future. You know, we'll, we're just getting started. We're, we're gonna be going uh, up the ladder of complexity and things like that, and so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, leave a like, any of those kinds of things that you feel like you wanna do, and uh, we'll be getting back to you if you leave a comment and everything like that. If you wanna see certain kinds of things, we'll let you know. Anyway, I hope this helps you get your game audio on. We'll see you next time. Take care.